So I just got an invite to Crankworks Australia. I'm not even on the alternate list, I'm just straight in. It's pretty insane. Five months ago, I was there and I tore my ACL. Competed anyways, I got 10th, but it really wasn't how I wanted to end it. And yeah, just to come full circle to 2023, get an invite back, I just can't believe it. I guess it's time to start training. <laughs> So I'm currently headed to the gym, gonna get a little leg day workout in. My entire focus lately has been getting my legs strong again so I can overcome this knee that's been giving me trouble. But we're headed in the right direction, there's finally some light at the end of the tunnel. Getting into a gym routine has been the single most important thing I've done since my injury. Learning about what muscles support the knee and how to build them up correctly is a game changer. Regularly performing sled pulls, calf raises, slant board squats, along with a few other movements has my legs feeling stronger than ever. And more specifically, my knee feeling almost back to 100%. So I just checked into Camp Woodward. We're here for four days, doing some training, some riding, getting comfortable on the bike. Yeah, I'm gonna take you guys through it a little bit and show you what that looks like, but I'm super excited to be here, so let's go. After beginning to feel comfortable on my bike, I decided it was time to step it up a notch and head to Cloud9. Cloud9 is made up of a resi and a foam pit and a whole bunch of other features that are great for training. So I was able to run through my tricks over and over again, getting the feel of them in a safe way to make sure that when I head to Crankworks, I know exactly what I'm supposed to do.
After my East Coast road trip, I decided to come home, build up a new bike, and then head to California. Cali Protectives offers a slew of dirt jumps and an easily accessible, massive airbag for getting all the last minute tricks in. California is also much closer to Australia, so the flight out is not nearly as bad as flying from the East Coast. I'm incredibly thankful for the opportunities and all the resources I have to make these trips happen so that I can do my job to the best of my ability. This looks pretty long, eh? I feel like you'll have to like race of that pedal. There's definitely some creative options here. Yeah. It honestly looks very improved over last year. I'm excited to see how it goes. Last year was kind of a big impact going into the half pipe. I'm feeling a little jet lagged. I'm gonna listen to my body and make sure that I'm fully recovered before I dive into this thing and try to do it right and safe so I can make it to the final day. to be back figuring it all out again last year was a pretty big hit to my confidence so yep. it's just like rebuilding yep. so yep. here we are getting some redemption started raining, literally identical same conditions as last year when I tore my ACL, so learned my lesson from that. I'm gonna call it and uh, get back out here as soon as the conditions are good. I'm gonna go chill. <laughs> I gotta clean up that last one. I almost flew off the side, but you know, it's the way she goes in practice. Gonna make all the mistakes here and not in my run. We just got the clip. That looks sick, dude. Thank you. Yeah, I've been battling the speed on that all morning, like just trying to figure out how to land in the correct spot and then, you know, have enough like momentum to pop a three and then hopefully something more out of that three. So if we got it, we're moving in the right direction. Not gonna lie, I'm so frustrated right now. I'm just feeling like feeling everything that everything bad that comes from a lack of preparation, just from like not really being able to properly ride my bike all winter. So pretty stressful. I'm just trying to trying to get through it the best I can.
Yeah, we've made some progress for sure. Definitely made some good progress. I think there's gonna be some highlights of the run that I'm stoked on. I think the overall top to bottom, there's gonna be, it's, I'm gonna be missing some banger tricks that I'm totally capable of, but just lacking the confidence to really do them in a, in a strong way. So. Just uh, gotta fit, wrap this one up, make it to the bottom, go home and go back to the drawing board and can't really complain too much. We're here, it's a beautiful day out here, and uh, yeah, I got a good sleep last night, so I'm just mentally preparing for my run, going through what I have to do over and over and over again, and then I'm gonna get up there and take some laps. Yesterday was a pretty rough day. I was in my head way too much. Today, the goal is just to do what I know how to do, handle a few last things in practice, and then do my run, put it to the bottom, and then I'm just gonna be so stoked when I can cross that finish line because it's the best feeling ever. David Lee now. Yeah. About the drop. Here we go. The sun's that. gone. We are go at Crankworks Cairns. There was slope style. Leave on the track. Backstage. David Lee on the track. Opting the on off technique. Bars up, trucks out. We've seen a lot of that today. Oh. Oh. Triple bar spin. He caught those bars twice. He just kept oh. spinning. Bars up. Tailwind foot jam. Bars been out, so he's utilizing these freestyle portions of the course. Here he goes back into the tricks. Here he goes on the croc tail. 360 bars with 2x up. Hips. On the bed laying awake as you pray. 450 on the first hip. Downside tail. If he's looking super clean here, coming into the final jump. I need to find you, need you to know I'll be your friend in the day You're gonna make for the day! Big tuck no handed back flip. Just finished up my run. It was honestly everything I set out to do. It truly feels like redemption to walk away from this event, not hurt, to do a sick run. And yeah, it's just like, it's honestly the best feeling ever to come into that finish corral. And I'm just so thankful to be at the bottom in one piece. And, and yeah, I guess that's the, that's the end of the story. So, redemption, baby. <laughs> Day. 